New tonight at 5, the impeachment inquiry into the president is now official. Today, House Democrats voting to officially open that inquiry, which until now had been voted on, had not been voted on. KCA United's Washington correspondent Trevor Shirley today reporting this brings the president one step closer to being impeached. The resolution is adopted without objection. In a near party line vote, the House formalized its impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. We have a constitutional responsibility to serve as a check and balance on an out of control executive branch. I support this resolution because no person, Republican or Democrat, should be permitted to jeopardize America's security and reputation for self-serving political purposes. Today's vote marks the first official step for the House to impeach the president. Democrats are continuing their permanent campaign to undermine his legitimacy. We can do a lot better than this. We can do a lot better than this and the American people see through it. It's now expected the impeachment inquiry will center on public hearings as opposed to the closed door sessions happening up until now. Now this goes to judiciary, foreign affairs and other committees of jurisdiction but the American people now have a greater chance to participate in this process. But House Republicans say that process hasn't been fair. It still yet doesn't afford the president due process. It still yet doesn't allow Republican involvement. Congress now leaves for a week-long recess and is expected to dive back into the impeachment process when it returns. In Washington, Trevor Shirley, KCAU 9 News. Now, all tri-state representatives voting along party lines during those uh, impeachment debate votes from earlier today. South Dakota's Dusty Johnson voting against the impeachment investigation, saying, quote, the process it establishes doesn't provide the transparency and fairness that we need. A tainted impeachment proce process does not better us as a nation. On the other hand, Iowa Representative Cindy Axty voting for the investigation, saying, quote, I've heard from Iowans across my district, and people on all sides want to get to the bottom of what happened in an open, transparent process that follows the law. That's what I voted for today. We have more reaction from local lawmakers on our website. Just click on this story at SiouxLandProud.com. You'll find it under the featured content.